Right, we're here with Pearl from Pearl and the Puppets. Hi Pearl, how you doing? Uh, quick, just to introduce yourself, kind of a wee bit about yourself, a wee bit about the band and everything with that as well. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm Pearl from Pearl and the Puppets. And uh, I have a drummer, a bass player, guitarist, bass player, and I play guitar and on stage. And uh, where does the name come from? Yeah, where does the name come from? Well. <laughs> I started, someone I said that I wanted one word for my name, and then um, I was quite drunk one night with some people, and they started describing my voice and stuff, and then someone said, oh, you've just described a pearl. And I was like, yes, I love it. So I went along with pearl, and then I got hooked for a gig in Barfly in London, and we thought I was the middle of because she's called pearl as well, and she'd been touring like the week before, and, um, yeah, so she'd been touring the week before it and they thought I was making a spot out, which is heavy metal. So if you can imagine like me going on stage with a ukulele and an acoustic guitar, wouldn't have gone very well, so I had to cancel it. And then we were like, okay, we're going to have to get a new name. And um, they said, okay, you could just be called, you know, your real name. And I said, no, I don't want to be called that. Then we seemed to have the Fair enough. As an afterthought, kind of like just tagged on it then. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, no, definitely. Did you not think when you found out Meatloaf's daughter was called Pearl that that might be a sign to get rid of it at that point, or are you just kind of like, ah, oh, it's all right. Yeah, we can share it. No, no, no. I changed it like immediately afterwards. So, but who knows? Like, maybe if she gets famous, yeah, you'll be forced. I'm I'm sure Meatloaf would like be totally cool with that. We could just rock <laughs> up and just sort her out. Just be like, you're not allowed that name anymore. We're taking that back from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sounds good. So I assume Meatloaf isn't one of your influences. So kind of like, what kind of influences your musical sound? Um, I'm, I'm a bit obsessed with like Queen and like since I was really young. And Cardigans and I love Feist and Regina Spector and like a bit of Bob Dylan and Rufus Wainwright and Damien Rice. Yeah, quite a few. Can put it into you? No, definitely. You know, I mean, you mentioned a few people there, kind of like your Regina Spectors and stuff like that as well. Obviously, like Imogen Heap and that at the minute in time, just recorded, oh, recorded Silence for Christmas time as a as a kind of anti Simon yeah. Cowell thing. Yeah. Is that something you would consider? Are you anti the pop song at Christmas and the manufactured sort of Simon Cowell pop? Um, yes. I have a love-hate relationship with X Factor, whereby I had to watch every episode, but I believe, like, oh, you know, I don't know, I, to be fair, like, there's some really good, you know, artists that have come out of it, like, um, like, uh, Name one. <laughs> uh, you know, it's like, yeah. you know, she could have been in love with that, that is, that is true, and like, Okay, not a lot of artists have come out of it like that, but you know, I, I must say, like she, she's a good songwriter, and you wouldn't think that for someone. No, sounds good. You've, you've been quite diplomatic there. You know what I mean? You've, you've not slagged it off, but you've not said you like it. Yeah, you'll accept it. You'll give props for props for you, sort of thing. No, definitely. Uh, obviously, you toured with Elton John, I believe, recently. Uh, you did a good two shows. I just stick with tears, to be honest. With you. Sound, yeah. 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 I must be an experience. Walked out of the studio, which was 
Cheers, cheers. That's that's really good. That's good management style, definitely. Uh, obviously, in that respect, you know, I mean, it's quite a, quite achievement from such an early age and stuff like that as well. What are your kind of targets? You know, I mean, it's nearly the end of the year, 2011. What's gonna, what's going to happen? No, 2010. Then it's nearly the end of 2010. What's the targets for 2011? What are we hoping to achieve? Fair enough. Master, and then al album out next year then, sort of thing. Are we hoping hoping kind of superstardom sort of thing, touring the world with it as well? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's definitely <laughs> sounds dead easy, you know, it sounds dead easy. It's really easy, but it's not. <laughs> no, I just want to tour next year and yeah, just get the music out to as many people as possible. Awesome. Yeah. 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 No, sounds good, sounds good. Uh, you know, I mean, you guys have obviously been touring a little bit, you know, I mean, all the puppets are kind of sitting off stage drinking and drinking Johnny Walker and stuff like that. So. Oh, of course not, no, no, that was, that was a slip of the tongue for me. But uh, more importantly, uh, what's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you guys on tour so far? Obviously, touring with your friends, it must be quite, quite difficult. That that's quite good. I think that's quite good to be honest with you. We have a trophy for the most embarrassing story. Do you? We do, and we'll send it to you. This is, it's, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's not like it's not like the World Cup, but it's a pretty cool trophy. I think a trophy would be cool. There you go. I think I think that'd be maybe winning it at the moment in time to honestly. And the fact that no one else heard is even better as hell. <laughs> yeah. Okay, definitely that sounds good. Okay, obviously you're beside a lovely Christmas tree in Oran yeah. Moor just now. So what's the most in I've not got a Christmas tree though. Oh. If anybody wants to sell a pearl of Christmas tree, you can do. Yeah, exactly. No, she needs a Christmas tree, someone hook it up. Okay, uh more importantly, what's the worst Christmas present that you've ever received? I don't, but I'm sure other people do, yeah. You do, but you're just saying I don't. Want Try to sound a little bit more manly than I normally do, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> It's a necessity. It's a necessity. It's a necessity. No. You know, when you're, when you're five or six, necessity. Exactly. No, well, thank you very much, Pearl. Uh, you've been talking to Student Punch. I uh, hope you've had fun, and we'll send you your trophy in the post.